We are now just days away from Apple's WWDC event where Apple's gonna have a huge focus on the iPad with iPadOS 19. And this is perfect for later this year when the M5 iPad Pro is getting released because as you know, the M4 model was insanely good, but because of the price and the lack of great software that feels like Mac OS, not that many people upgraded. But I have a good feeling that the M5 iPad Pro is going to be saved by iPadOS 19. And in this video, we're gonna talk about a few ways that Apple can make this happen. But before I jump into those groundbreaking features that the M5 model is gonna need to succeed and lead to tons of people finally upgrading, let's get into all the features and changes that we can expect to come to the M5 iPad Pro, which is launching later this year, according to many sources. Now, first of all, Apple already gave us a really good redesign with the M4 iPad Pro, including this really Really good magic keyboard that's fully redesigned so much better than before so don't expect any major design changes now what we can expect to get upgraded is actually the RAM because the M4 model starts with 8 gigabytes of RAM but upon further inspection people discovered that it actually has two sticks of six gigabyte RAM which means it actually comes with 12 but Apple for some reason was locking away four gigabytes only giving us eight. So I fully expect the M5 iPad Pro to for sure start with 12 gigabytes. They might even just give us 16 gigs because if you think about it, the M4 MacBook Air costs $999 and it already gets 16 gigs. So why not Apple, just give us 16 already. Now one of the biggest upgrades we can expect is Wi-Fi 7 connectivity because it's so much better than the Wi-Fi 6E that we have since Wi-Fi 7 automatically can connect to all of the different bands at once. Your 2.4 gig, the 5 gigahertz, and 6 gigahertz. It moves between them automatically and seamlessly. Now, in terms of the display, don't expect that to get upgraded because the M4 iPad Pro model debuted the insanely good tandem OLED display, which is one of the best displays ever made. So I don't expect it to get upgraded for another couple of years. Now, of course, the biggest change is gonna be the new M5 chip. Now this just went into mass production back in February, so we know that Apple's prepping it. Now there are some rumors that the M5 Pro, the Max, and the Ultra, those high-end chips are gonna be using a brand new chip technology layout, which will basically separate the CPU and GPU more than before, which will lead to improved performance and better yields. However, the regular M5 chip will likely remain the same in terms of the layout and it might not change that much, but we are expecting the new N3P process node technology from TSMC, which will have improved performance per watt. So it's gonna be more optimized, more fine-tuned. So we should expect a decent boost in performance. And now let's finally get into those iPadOS 19 features. Now, Mark Gurman has said that this year's WWDC will focus on three different things. Number one is a new software interface and design language that runs across Apple's devices. Number two is upgrades to Apple intelligence, including ones that weave AI into more apps and features. And number three is an effort to make the iPad's operating system more powerful and feel more like Mac's software. So let's talk about those three points, starting with the new UI experience. From all the leaks we have, we can tell that there's gonna be a brand new user interface redesign, which is gonna be more kind of glass-like with transparent elements, sort of similar to Vision OS, according to Mark Gurman and John Prosser. So Apple's also basically bringing it to iPad OS, to Mac OS, to basically all of their operating systems systems is going to be codenamed Solarium, according to Mark Gurman. So it's going to be a big deal. Now, the second thing is Apple intelligence upgrades, and we don't have very many specific examples of this, but here is one that could be really helpful. Apple's rumored to be making a new AI powered battery management feature, which will come with iOS 19 for iPhones. But I don't see why Apple can't just bring that feature to the rest of their operating systems like iPadOS, as well as macOS to help improve battery life. And finally, the third one is the one that we've all been waiting and asking for for years now, turning iPadOS 
into more like Mac OS. So let's talk about how Apple can achieve this. First off, we know that Apple is gonna change Mac OS to feel a little less serious and professional, more similar to the new iOS redesign with that new glass-like UI. So that by itself will kind of help them feel more similar. But as far as iPad OS itself, the one thing I really want is that if Apple can upgrade Stage Manager to be much more like Mac OS than ever before, because right now you're limited to only a cluster of apps per page, which forces you to create a new page, but I want Apple to give us no limits like we have on Mac OS because the hardware is there. The M4 chip is more than powerful enough to do this and we're expecting the M5 chip so it'll be even more powerful and capable. And I personally really want Split View, that system, to be fully redesigned from the ground up, allowing us to have more fine-tuned multitasking ability and have the freedom to have different shapes and sizes of Windows and apps, allowing more than just two apps at once with regular use, basically splitting between those different sizes with no display required. Give us full freedom. Another thing is that with iPad OS, you can only have one audio source playing at once, which is one of the unique things that makes Mac OS feel so special. I also wish we had better display support because right now the iPad Pro's display is amazing and it supports 120 FPS gaming with its 120 Hz refresh rate, but when you use it with an external display, it's still limited to 60 Hz, which means that if you want a big display game gaming experience with a gaming controller, you're limited to 60 hertz. So Apple, please upgrade this. And a huge thing is that iPad OS still has the same files app experience that you get with the iPhone. We absolutely need a brand new revamped experience just for the iPad to make it more like how Finder works on the Mac, which is by far my favorite feature, which allows me to access all of the apps and files that I need on a daily basis, including having a bunch of Finder tabs opened all at once to have access to everything. So just by bringing Finder to the iPad, that would single-handedly fix so many issues on iPad OS and make the M5 iPad Pro so nice to upgrade to. And finally, there are a couple of specific features that Apple is adding to iPad OS 19, like giving the Apple Pencil a brand new virtual read calligraphy pen tool on the iPad, which is great for artists. We're also getting a new synchronized Wi-Fi detail feature across Apple devices. So when you're at the gym, hotel, office buildings, different buildings, you don't have to log in separately on each device. So that's gonna be really nice. And that's about all of the specific details that we have for now, but I'm sure that Apple has some surprise tricks up their sleeves. So let me know your most requested iPad OS 9 feature down below in the comments and definitely subscribe above for more videos like this one. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.